Alright guys, welcome back once again. So today's video is about Masters in Computer Science from Technical University of Munich. Now I do very well understand that a lot of you guys are aiming for this particular university. This is a building where you would most probably come and study if you get admission into Munich for Computer Science. I have Ankit here with me who's going to join, uh, who's holding the camera right now. But uh, what to expect from today's video is you will get to know what uh, what is the course structure like, what documents did Ankit give to get admission in this university. Hello, so I am Ankit and I am currently studying informatics at TU Munich. I am from India and I completed my bachelor's in VIT University Vellur and I graduated last year and directly after my bachelor's I came here to pursue my master's in computer science. And when you applied for this course, did you have your degree in hand? No, right? No, I didn't have my original bachelor's degree. I had to apply using the provisional degree certificate of my Got university. It. How much did you score in bachelor's you said? My CGPA was 9.26 on a scale of 10. Did you give any GRE? Yeah, I gave GRE. My score was 318. And in TU Munich, the GRE criteria for Indians is like, they don't check the verbal score and they'll take a look into your quant score, which has a cutoff of 157. And so if you get anything above 157, then it's fine. And they have a AWA cutoff of 3.5. And also they accept gate marks. How much? like the cutoff of that respective year. Okay, okay. What is your ILTS score? 7.5 in 7.5. Alright Ankit, so first question and a very straightforward question. Walk us through if somebody uh, wants admission in Technical University of Munich in Computer Science, what preparation they have to go through and what is the process? Okay, so the process is like they have to apply at two places. First is the UniAssist portal okay. and then is the TUM online portal. So the UniAssist portal is like they give you a VPD document. Okay. You have to submit your passport, your bachelor's degree and in case like I didn't have my bachelor's degree that time so I submitted a provisional certificate. Oh you did this when you were in the last semester of yeah. bachelor's? Yeah. Okay. I did all of this in the last semester before applying to the university in 2019. Okay. So all these documents like your passport, your bachelor's degree, your bachelor's transcripts, whichever you have up to that time. Like I didn't have all eight semester transcripts because I was currently in the eighth semester that time. So I submitted up to seven semester transcripts. Oh, okay. And you need to get all these things notarized and submit it to the UniAssist portal. Where did you get the notarization done? Okay, so I got the notarization done at a local notary in my city, Ajmer. Okay. from a lawyer okay okay how much did you pay it was like 20 to 30 rupees for a page okay two stages this whole process is divided first stage apply via uni assist and get the vpd done now he has secured a vpd what happens next so after you secure the vpd the first stage is done it will show your german grade and that's what tu munich requires and also whether you are eligible to ap uh, apply to the university after you have done the vpd from UniAssist, the second step is applying to the tu munich's online portal right and from last year like they changed it when i applied so okay. from 1st september 2019 you have to like send the documents just online and not courier them before you get the admit and when i applied i had to send the documents via courier, the notarized document, and also apply to the online portal. So oh. it's a bit simplified now. Okay, so now what they've done is, unless you've got the results, yeah. whether you've got accepted or not, you don't send the physical copy. To TU Munich, yeah. To TU Munich. But you send all of them to UniAssist. Correct. Still so the same. You, so previously until last year, in 2019, uh, you were sending physical copies at two, two places. One is UniAssist, one is TU Munich. But now, from 2019, they have changed this that you only send it to UniAssist, but not for TU Munich unless you've got selected yeah. for a course. Yeah. For this course. For informatics, yeah. Perfect. Let's move forward. On the portal of TU Munich, what documents do you upload? Um, please walk us through. Okay. So, like, there are a lot of documents required for application to be considered complete. So, I have made a list of them on my phone. Yeah, please go ahead and read that. So, first is the application form where you fill all your bachelor's details, all the personal details, date of birth and everything. And then is the SOP, right. like which is very important, your personal statement and it's like maximum two pages. Okay. And you need to explain that why you are choosing informatics, why TU Munich mm -hmm. and why Germany, 
Did you write by yourself? Yeah, I wrote by myself, but okay. I like consulted my seniors to mm -hmm. just check and correct if there was something wrong. Right, right. And if even in your case, if you don't have anyone uh, who can give you an expert advice, please reach out to us or anyone. We'll definitely put you through the right people. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so the SOP is important and after your SOP is done, your CV or resume is important. And even TU Munich's website has a resume builder. So okay. you can use that tool also. Wow. Okay. After the SOP resume, the essay is really important. So it's a thousand word page limit where you need to explain a topic, scientific topic. The topic I got was whether AI will be a boon or bane in the future. Okay. And I wrote like various points about it and I cited the, all the sources which I used for like making the essay right. correct. One quick point on the essay part, please make sure that it's written academically. What he means by citation is putting a source of everything what you're putting in. Again, it's a huge topic. What I can only tell you right now in this video is please write it academically, put the references, put the citations properly and uh, stick to the 1000 word, right? Yeah. Stick to that and make sure that you've not done a copy paste because it can easily be traced back. Mm -hmm. There's something called plagiarism. It's very strict here. After the essay comes the curriculum analysis form. Okay. So this is where you put all your subjects that you have done in the bachelor. Okay. In an Excel file where you categorize them in the various fields that they have marked like mathematical subjects in one field software engineering in one field database in one field like that and okay but where did you get this excel sheet from this is available on their application portal tum ah, masters application okay. portal cool cool go ahead next okay so when you put these files and also you have to put your grade which you obtained in those subjects yeah. and after that it will calculate your ects which you have done and the TUM German grade okay. at the end of the Excel file. Oh wow, so the formula is already fed in the yeah, Excel sheet. The Excel formula sheet. is already there in the Excel sheet and you just have to fill your subjects and the details. Right, and then you put all the details, save the file and then attach the file again. Yeah. Okay, what else? So after that comes the bachelor's degree certificate and like I didn't have my de degree certificate that time so I used a provisional certificate okay. for applying to the university. Right, right. And also you require bachelor's transcripts, your original transcripts which you get notarized to okay. send to TUM. What you're basically doing is you're taking all these documents, you're using the platform uh, and applying with soft copy as well as if you get selected you have to again send the hard copies of yeah. all of these. Is there anything left in the document list? Or yeah, there, there are a few more documents Go like quickly. the curriculum, all the modules and the subject descriptions uh, which you took in bachelor's like suppose you took a subject artificial intelligence in your bachelor's and all the modules which you did in that all of them okay. explain so every university in India has a course description file a PDF file which has the subject list of all the subjects that are taught there and all oh. the modules and if they don't have, can they go and get this from college? Yeah, you can ask them about it. Like we had around a 180 page document with all the subjects that were taught in VIT University. Okay. So I used that and sent it to TUM. Did you attach the whole 180 pages file? Yeah, it's like a complete PDF file. And you just attached? And you file. just attach and the thing is that whichever subjects you have mentioned in your transcripts, they'll check the code. Uh -huh. the exam course code and they'll match it with the thing in the BTEC curriculum okay. analysis. English level certificate, either TOEFL or IELTS, anything you can submit. GRE GATE score, VPDs. Wait, GRE GATE score is mandatory? Yeah, for Indians GRE is mandatory, but you just have to follow the cutoff. Like in CONS is 157, anything above that or even 157 it's fine and 3.5 for AWA and they don't take verbal into consideration. And apart from that you can like, there is one section in the application portal which says additional information, internships and all those things. So you can send your extra details like which internships you did. Which volunteering experiences do ha do you right, have? Right, like right. Like these things. So that's one thing. And your passport photo and your copy of passport. Ankit, I've taken all these documents. I've uploaded on the portal. After whatever number of days and weeks, I get a result that I've got selected. But what I want to know from you is what goes on in the background in the selection process. How does the selection process happen if you want to give an insight okay. to my audience? So now I'll explain you the admission criteria, how the it. So it's a two-stage process. Either you get a direct admit from TU Munich, okay. which is above 70 points or more, 
right they calculate the points based on all your documents they have okay. specific points criteria which they have mentioned for a particular set of documents but we can't see ki for ilts how much points i'm getting you can't see all this ilts is just a cut off on their website okay let's say the grades okay my grade sheet <laughs> okay it has a point my transcript has a point right <laughs> my lo m has a point <laughs> but can we know how much point is given for what yeah where can they see that they have mentioned on their sites like essays for 25 points sops for 15 points ah. your grades is for this much point but when you get the final result they don't show the split up they'll okay. show you the total number of points cumulated points which you have received in all those documents what's the threshold if i hit that i'm getting admission 100% okay so from 70 and above you get direct admission to tum informatics okay. and from 50 to 70 which is the stage 2 in case you didn't get direct admit in stage 1 you have to go through a interview process it may be either via skype or call or maybe even in the campus gaching campus okay did you go through any of them or you got in the first click itself i got admit in the first round itself okay what, what did they ask in the interview they ask general things about what you did in bachelor's your subjects what you learned through internships why you will be a good fit for their informatics program why you are choosing germany so all the things which will help them realize that you are a good candidate for this university